Hello my little Ignite Fitness family, welcome back. Today I have a yoga practice for you. We are going to focus on yoga for weight loss today. So it's going to bring a lot of heat into the muscles. There's going to be a little bit more fast paced flowing movement as well as some more challenging poses in today's practice. So all you need is a mat for underneath your feet and water on hand if you need it. Let's begin our practice. So we're just going to start at the front of our mat today. Coming through, we're just going to roll the shoulders out. So just finding some length through the spine, drawing that belly in, rolling the shoulders back up into the ears and down the spine. And then we're going to take them forward, finding our breath, starting to find a nice even flow. Round them up and down. Beautiful. Bringing the toes nice and close together, heels just about an inch apart, bringing the hands to heart center. Let's move through some chair pose. We're going to sink the hips back and we're just going to press up and down in this nice little narrow squat just to warm up the body. Come centered, focus the energy, drive through the heels, press it back, sink the bum like you are sitting back into a chair. The chest is lifted, heart is open. We're not allowing the body to cave in. We're keeping everything strong and supported. Take it down and hold it here. Sweep the arms back down by the sides and we'll sweep them all the way up overhead. Taking the biceps by the ears, keeping the shoulder blades pressed down the spine. Holding here. Taking the feet about hip width apart, finding a nice strong mountain pose. Again, drawing the belly button towards the spine, taking the palms to face outward. <sighs> Beautiful. Take the arms slightly behind you. We're going to draw them all the way up, overhead, hands in prayer. Dive it down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it down. We're gonna walk one foot and then the other back into high plank, holding here, strong plank for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lock those elbows in to the ribs, lower down, release the toes. Pressing up into baby cobra. Inhale and exhale, chest down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. From here, we're going to tuck the toes, plant the head, press up through high plank and straight back into down dog. Begin to walk out the feet, walk your dog. Create that space, draw the chest towards the top of the thighs. Find some stillness. Beautiful, breathe it in. Let's walk those toes in to meet the wrists. Over here, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it down. Take the hands behind you. We're going to sweep them all the way up towards the sky, drawing the hands through heart center and releasing them down. This time, scooping the arms all the way up towards the sky. Again, diving it down. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. This time, we're going to plant the hands, float the feet back into our high plank. Exhale through chaturanga. Taking it into upward dog. Tuck the toes, press back, downward dog. Hold that down dog. Driving the heels into the earth. On your next inhale, shift forward, high plank. And press back, down dog. 
Next, inhale, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, down dog. Look between the hands, hop or step the feet in. Inhale, half lift. And we're gonna exhale, fold it forward. Hold your forward fold for a moment. Open up the rib cage with your inhale. Really expand through the chest, all the way down to the belly. Beautiful. Take the arms behind you. We're gonna sweep ourselves all the way back up to standing. Drawing the hands through heart center and releasing into mountain. Inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale through prayer, forward fold. And we're gonna inhale, half lift. Exhale it down, plant the hand, float the feet back, high plank. Exhale through chaturanga, upward dog, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Beautiful. You're doing amazing. Find your breath. We're gonna walk those feet in this time. Last time, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Your body should feel nice and warm. Slowly rolling the chest up. Roll the shoulders down the back. We're going to step it out nice and wide. Toes turning to the outside of the room. Arms up. We're going to shift into our goddess pose. Keeping that belly drawn in. Pressing the knees out. Fight the urge to allow them to turn in. Got beautiful external rotation here. Sinking low into your goddess. We'll press it up and down into goddess. Press it up, shift it down. Press up and down. Hold here. Breathe. Keep those elbows pressed back. Open the heart. Shine that goddess. We're gonna take our hands down by our side, sweep ourselves all the way up, turn the toes in, coming into wide-legged forward fold. Hands towards the earth, we're gonna inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, half. And exhale, fold it down. Few options here, you can stay like this. You can interlace the peace fingers under the big toe and pull that chest further forward. Or if it's in your practice today, you can take the hands, palm to sole, underneath the feet, taking the toes right to the inside of the wrist and pull yourself deeper into this beautiful stretch. I'm just breathing here, finding a moment of peace amongst the chaos, embracing this beautiful, beautiful tug in the back of the hamstring, wiggle the hips side to side, where does it feel good, where is your body searching for? Here, we're going to release our hands. We're going to step back into our warrior one. So taking the right foot back, turning the back foot out on a 45 degree angle, 
the front foot is parallel to the front of the room. We're sunk nice and low into that supporting thigh. Lift the arms up, keeping the shoulder blades down the spine. Breathe strong here. Sink it a little lower. Feel free to play around with these positions, guys. You don't have to stay right where you are. You can play around to where it feels good. Step back a little further here. Beautiful. Draw the hands into prayer at heart center. We're going to shift into our warrior three pose. So pressing off that back foot, tilting, hinging at the hips. Taking the arms to wherever they feel good. They can stay in prayer. Go in airplane arms or you can extend them overhead in a full warrior three. Breathe, guys, breathe here. Holding steady, holding strong. Beautiful. Step it back, this time whew, right into warrior two. Find your balance. We all lose it sometimes. Bending into that front leg. So full warrior two, the back leg is fully pointed to the side. Arms are extended in both directions, gaze is over the front arm. We're gonna inhale, reverse our warrior. And exhale, come into extended side angle. Breathe here, opening through the heart. So keeping that arm pulled slightly back Allow the heart to shine. Option to stay here or drop straight down into a deeper stretch, extending the arm straight up towards the sky, holding and breathing. Beautiful loves. Keep that heart open. And we'll bring it down, rotate the body into a runner's lunge, <sighs> lifting the chest, beautiful, let's step it back through our high plank, you're going to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, exhale through chaturanga, shift to upward dog, exhale, press back down dog. On your next inhale, walk or hop the feet into the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up towards the sky and hands through prayer. Dropping back into our mountain pose. Walk your feet back to the front of the mat from wherever you are. We're going to step it back into our warrior one. Remember the foot is on the 45 degree angle, hips are parallel, arms come up, playing around until you find your strong warrior pose. Belly's locked in tight. Beautiful guys. Draw those hands back into heart center. Prepare your body for the transition to warrior three. Lock the belly in, press off that back foot, taking the arms to wherever feels good to you in your practice today. Find your balance, find your drishti, that focal point. Hold and breathe. It's okay if you shake, it's okay if you wobble. It's all part of the practice. And let's get ready. We'll step that foot back straight into our warrior two position. Sinking low in that front leg. The back leg is straight. The gaze is out over the hands. Let's inhale, reverse our warrior. And exhale, extended side angle, opening through the heart. Taking the arm back. <sighs> oh. 
option to stay here or come on down to the earth hand planted opposite fingers are up towards the ceiling We'll rotate our body into our runner's lunge, lift the chest, find that space. Beautiful. Let's sweep that leg back, finding our nice strong plank pose. Exhale in through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press it back, down dog. Beautiful. From here, we're going to sink into a child's pose, release a little pressure off the back, taking the forehead to the mat. Big toes are together, knees are separated. Walk those fingertips in front of you. Beautiful. We'll move into our ab series. We're going to shift forward into a low plank. Taking the toes out, so we're on our forearms, elbows and palms are both planted. Stepping into that nice, strong low plank, gazes out in front of the fingers. We're gonna hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knees. Sweep the feet through. We do one way, we must do the other. We're gonna come into an upward facing plank. So inhale guys, Just lengthen the spine here, draw the belly in. Got the heels planted into the mat and the big toes pressed together. We're gonna take our hands behind our body, fingertips pointed towards the bum. We're gonna press up. I want you to keep your thighs parallel. Fight the urge to allow that external rotation, everything is stuck, and we're just going to press those glutes up, hips up towards the sky, allowing the head to fall. Holding here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down slowly. Beautiful. Coming in, taking the hands behind the thighs. We're going to shift into our boat pose. So here are your options. You can stay here, hands behind the thighs, heels off the floor. You can come up and extend the legs, keeping the hands behind the thighs. Or if you're ready for full boat, you can extend the hands out, reaching for those heels, holding and squeezing here with me. breath. Hands behind the thighs, draw it in. We're going to shift into our garland pose from here, guys. These are going to be the more intense poses of today, so be gentle and kind to your body. Take the feet out nice and wide. If it feels good, we're going to shift our hips right through. Nice and wide. The toes, the balls of the feet, and the heels are all planted. We've got our palms pressed together here. Inhale, breathe in that strength. Drop the tailbone towards the earth. Open through the chest. Allow the elbows to press the knees open in this beautiful natural position. This should be a goal for all of us to sit in this pose comfortably. It's so good for hip health. Now we have the option to stay here, or if you'd like to challenge yourself in your practice today, we can shift into crow, planting our palms to the earth, bringing the knees in. We're gonna take the knees to the back of the arms, taking the gaze down towards the mat. We're going to shift onto our palms here, holding this strong crow. Take your time, find the balance, come in and out as you need.
planting the feet, coming back through garland pose. Well done, guys. Beautiful. Taking a few more breaths in garland here. ourselves here. Extend the legs forward. We're going to inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and exhale, seated forward fold. Beautiful. Release it. Sweep yourself on up. We're going to come into our supine position. On our backs, belly in tight. The feet are planted, knees are bent at 90 degrees. We're going to press up into our glute bridge. So palms can be planted to the earth. This is move modification number one. If it feels good to progress, you can take the hands and interlace them under your spine, pressing the hips slightly higher, opening through the heart. And if you'd like to progress the practice further, we can press into a wheel. So we're taking the palms into the earth by the ears, feet are planted. We're going to press the hips up into our full wheel pose, driving the hips up, engaging through those arms. Squeezing through the glutes. And slowly lowering it back down all the way into corpse pose. Walk the feet out. Find that nice comfortable position. Wiggle the body. Maybe you want to take a second and hug your knees in. Release some pressure off the spine. Whatever feels good to you right now. Give yourself some nice inhales and exhales. Wiggle on your mat. Get any jitteries out until you find your nice relaxed corpse pose. Coming in through our Shavasana. Find those deep inhales and exhales. Allow the heart rate to come down. This was a powerful practice. Speed and strength and heat everywhere in the body. You may feel quivery. So try and release the tension that you might be holding in your body right now. Starting at the top of the head, just on the neck to free fall. Relax the jaw. Let the tongue relax to the back of your mouth. Release the shoulders down from your ears. Arms can just fall open. Palms can go down to the earth or up to the sky. Release the belly. No more need to hold it in. Wiggle the glutes as you just release that last bit of tension that you're holding on to. Release the legs. And allow the heels to just open ever so slightly to the side. Show your body love and gratitude today for what it just did for you. Honor it. Every time you show up to the mat is an act of self-love, self-respect. Proud of you guys for showing up, being consistent to yourself, deepening your practice, deepening your strength, your resiliency, your dedication. Acknowledging that it's not easy to show up for yourself. It's not easy to come to the mat every day. It's no easy feat, but you're doing it. When 
and so many others aren't, and that's so much to be proud of. Thank you for showing up today for me and for yourself. When you're ready, draw the hands in towards the heart. Forehead towards the fingertips. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste. Have a beautiful day, guys.